Thank you, Perry. Uh, thank you for that, and thank you for hosting us. I do want to say in this room, just a, I think about three or four weeks ago, we hosted and kicked off our One Chicago uh, campaign, which is about uh, making sure that everybody remembers that regardless of where you came from, regardless of your family's history, uh, we're all immigrants and Chicago's our home and we want to welcome everybody into the city and with the aspiration of holding on to the values of one city uh, with one goal, one aspiration for our children. And it's, not, it's also fitting then that we're back here uh, to launch something uh, new that I want to compliment the police department of. Now part of training is essential to building the police department we want and the relationship with our communities uh, of all across the city of Chicago. In just the last uh, couple weeks, you've seen a new use of force training model. You've seen a new kind of community policing model. You've seen a change in the way we approach uh, a mental health situation, treating it as mental health, not as a criminal effort. This is also part of that training, and that training is being aware that we're a diverse city. That was shown in all its colors literally yesterday, a diverse city. And the police department and the fire department did a tremendous job allowing uh, and ensuring a safe parade in which we not only had a gay pride parade, but we reminded ourselves, especially given our common values are under attack, of the importance of the diversity of our city and respecting that diversity. I cannot think of a better way of building the um, importance of trust uh, between the police department and different communities that make up this city than to have part of your training something totally new and we're inaugurating that new cultural awareness here at DuSable Museum. And I say that particularly because for a long time the Chicago Police Department has been going up and seeing the Holocaust, all the recruits just like yourself and you will do it, the Holocaust Museum. To go and see what happened in the history of the world of what hate leads to, what discrimination can lead to, where bigotry can take you if unchecked. So this is an important inauguration of something totally new, something totally different, and I give the police department under our superintendent the uh, high marks for taking another step. If we're gonna go to the Holocaust Museum and make sure you, who represent our values, are gonna be sensitive, aware of what happens when there's bigotry, unchecked, and where it will lead to, to then come here in the Salva Museum, the point of origin of not only, obviously, African-American history in this city, but we wouldn't be Chicago without the Salva. We wouldn't be the city we want to be, the city we aspire for our children to inherit. So to input this as part of the training in the legacy of a whole new series of things that we're doing to change the police department, whether it's on use of force, mental health responses, community relationships. I think it's fitting that that, and part of that uh, next step is to come here at DuSable Museum. It has a tremendous, um, I would say, showing of not only art, but art with a purpose of making you aware and taking your blinders, all of us have them, and widening them so your perspective is 180 degrees. And I wanna thank the superintendent and his team for taking what may be somebody would say is just a simple step, but a step with symbolism and power that makes you the police department for all of Chicago. And remind ourselves that we have one goal, one city, one set of values that we want you to uphold. And then we also as a city of made up of different neighborhoods also uphold those values in a partnership with the rank and file that make up our police department. 